Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I just want to briefly remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see the subscribe button. Click on the bell and it will notify whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video. Today we're going to be creating a beautiful pop twist gift card and I was inspired by Mimi Made It. This is my take on it and it goes just like that and you can pop in a little gift card. What graduate wouldn't want a little card like this with, of course, the gift card. Gotta have that gift card. Alright, so for this I have created an SVG file and these are my measurements that I've made and you'll get a little piece like this that's um, perforated or scored. You'll have this piece that's also perforated and scored. And of course, these little frames that I have put together. Now, you will be needing glue. I'm going to be using Fabri-Tac as well as Bar uh, Barely Art, sorry. And always have your rubber eraser, very handy. And your bone folder, and I use a Teflon one, and of course, your little tweezers. Um, I will also probably be using some brads and some eyelets, so you might need your crocodile. While I was shopping at Michael's, I did happen to come across these nice little tassels, and so I picked up a couple of these for this uh, video. Okay, so let's begin. Now, you do not have to score your card because the actual card is the, the, the template that you're going to cut out with your SVG. And this can be cut either in your Cricut or your Silhouette. I personally prefer the Silhouette, but that's just me. Okay, so let's begin. Move these here. I'm going to bring that and that. Now, if you will notice, one of these has a little cutout because that is where your gift card is going to go in. So that's going to be um, glued to the bottom base of your card. So let's begin with that one so we do not forget about that. And for this, I am going to use, of course, my Fabri-Tac. Just remember not to glue. You see that little cut line there? Let's see if I can get it. Right there. You see it right there? Try to glue around that, okay? Just so that you're not covering that little cutout. Then that defeats the purpose of having a gift card. Okay. So I'm just going to go way around that so I'm not um, affecting that little area. I can see better. Of course, there is a um, about an eighth of an inch seam. Go ahead, grab your bone folder. Push those little sides in. paper that I cut this on and I did purchase the glitter paper from Michael's. I believe Michael has now. They didn't when I went yesterday but I heard today they do have the sale. Buy one get one 50% 50 50 off which is not a bad deal um, at all. I did happen to get my glue while I was there. I used my 40 because they had a 40% coupon. They don't often have that lately um, but I was able to use that plus my reward so I got my glue or six something, not a bad deal at all. Now we're gonna glue this piece onto the other white mat. Now to keep your glue from seeping, the fabric tack I always put the lid on. Let's flip that up again. Again, there's a seam about a I would say about an eighth of an inch seam. I always hold it down in place and then I start burnishing. The 
card itself is about a four inch card and I wanted it in the angle. I'm still trying to figure out in my head how I can get the little cat part, you know, where you sit it on, I don't know what's called, on the head. Um, still trying to think of how to design that. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and we're not gonna glue this down yet because, and I'll show you why, we need to bring this little piece in. Now, as you can see, there's some crease lines there. We're gonna go ahead and crease it or fold it, burnish it, whatever, in the center. And then you'll see these little intersected lines and we're going to grab that, crease it, and then do the opposite side as well, crease it. And then once those are done, then you're going to fold and these in like that, like that, see? Sandwich that in, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And then once you do that, you'll squeeze them and easy peasy, there we go, right? So then you're going to take this and then you're going to put that, flush it right to the tip corner of your base. This is your base of the card. So we're going to go ahead and apply glue on one side. This is a very easy card, I'm telling you. It makes it so much easier when someone's um, designed it and, and all you have to do is just cut it. I think it makes it so easy. You can pop these out give out to those graduates you know you can also you know if you don't want to make it for a graduate maybe add some little flowers make a little pop-out card for mother's day you know sky's the limit that's got to think outside the box as to how you can use that file so i'll probably be doing something for mother's day maybe add some flowers or something that can pop out i'm going to go ahead and burnish that in really good lift it up like that, and go ahead and burnish as well. Again, squeeze those two ends together, bring it back in like so. And now you're left with this piece here. Now go ahead and grab the one that does not have the little cut line. You'll be able to see it. I can see it like right there. Um, go ahead and grab that. And by the way, let me go ahead and grab my gift card. Um, it's not really a gift card, it's my Costco card because I didn't have a gift card, but I just wanted to show you. Make sure that it is not glued down, guys. That is very important. That's the whole purpose of this, okay? Make sure that you have that slit open. Okay? The base of the card, which is the one that holds the gift card, that's the one you're going to glue down first. Um, and I'll show you why. Make sure those edges are nicely burnished in. Okay. It's all right. There's the gift card. I'm going to go ahead and slide that in there. Mm -hmm. Let me know that that's my gift card now. Go ahead and put that one aside. Grab the other one. Now the other one, as you can see, has a little hole in the center. And then the other pieces also have some holes. Now you have two of these. Now why do you have two? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I wanted to give it some dimensional. And that's where you're going to need some like dimensional pops to give it that dimensional effect. I'm gonna go ahead, as you can see, where's my sample one? I have a little dimension there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and glue this and you're gonna align it to the little circle in the center. So grab your glue. And then you start working on these and then you lose track of things You're like, oops, see, that I caught it on time. I was able to remove it quick. And that's one thing why I like, if I had used the other glue, I would have had a little bit of a hard time removing it. I'm going to go ahead and lift it because I need to see 
my little, and I just put my finger there and I can see that it's lined up. And then I'm gonna burnish now. And then, this is optional. You have this little frame here and you can frame that up. I just thought it looked cute. Now for this one, I will use this one because it has that nice fine tip point. Let's go ahead and use our tweezers to hold it in place. Oftentimes what I found with glitter paper, not all the glues work, I, you know. Um, so you have to kind of choose and pick which glues will work with the glitter paper, especially when you're stacking or layering. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and, again, if I'm off frame, I apologize. Put that down, like so. At least I'm going to go ahead and pick it up and move it around, like so. Using my fingers to just kind of burnish that in with my fingers and then I'll come in with my own folder. Anything about the Barely Art Glue is, is that it's water, um, not water soluble, it's, it does not work, but um, it dries clear. So that's a good thing. All right, so now that's that. Now go ahead and grab your second layer. Now why the second layer? Well, because we're gonna put some dimensional pops on that. All right, and I just grabbed some from Dollar Tree. It does not have to be extremely expensive stuff, guys. I just happened to get this in the automotive section of Dollar Tree, um, and it works great. I love these. For $1.25, you definitely cannot buy that elsewhere. So go ahead and I'm trying to avoid getting the circle in the center. And then I'm going to press down on those like so. Make sure they glue down and then let's go ahead and lift. Oftentimes what I like to do on these is I add glue. And the reason being is that way it, you know, I know it's not going to um, pop out as easily, especially when you hit humidity, you know, the heat and the humidity can also affect adhesives. So what I do, and also it also helps me with moving it around the card if I happen to make a boo-boo, and I'm prone to make boo-boos. Um, I don't know what crafter can honestly say that they don't make boo-boos because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that makes boo-boos. And, you know, someone might be just that perfect, but I'm not. All right, I'm just going to head lift it. I'm looking at the little hole, perforated hole, and then I'm holding it in place and kind of also aligning it, making sure everything is perfectly aligned. Okay, and then I release, okay? So then I take the other layers, which are these, and these go again lined up. But again, I am going to put some dimensional pop on that. But before I put that, I'm going to go ahead and take my frame and go around with my barely art. Oops. Now, like I was saying, I don't know of a crafter that can honestly say that they don't make mistakes, especially when you're filming. It's like everything goes wrong when you're filming. Yikers. Okay. Between lighting. I'm bound to get good lighting, guys. I am, I am, I am. It's on my wish list. Better lighting, better computer, better 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 okay All right. now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go ahead and grab my dimensional pops and 
Now I found that making these little cards, it's kind of relaxing. I don't know if I told you guys before, I started out paper crafting years ago with Stampin' Up. That's how I got into paper crafting. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to remove the backing. Now for these SVG files, it's very, very easy. Now I don't have to make a video tutorial on how I, um, if you guys are interested in how I do it. Um, you just basically get the file, you download it. Um, see where you've saved it on your downloads. Oftentimes it goes right into your download folder and you bring it down and you will probably have to extract it because some of these files are big. And then once you've extracted and saved it onto a file, um, and what I do is I label the files. Um, you can open it up and upload it to your cutting software, whether it's Cricut or Silhouette. Okay. Right there. Right, press down. And that's, that's that. I'm not going to put the tassel in yet. Um, I don't know why. I feel like it's a little wonky. It's just my eyes deceiving me. Okay. All right. So then, remember, we take these and squeeze those little arms down. We're going to squeeze them in. Then we're going to take this, and again, we're going to go right on that corner. So what I'll do is I'll put some glue on this. And you can use your double-sided adhesive if you want. I just choose not to have that heavy, you know. All right. Let's line it up. Flip it over. If you get any glue webs or glue gummies, you can use your bone or eraser. Sorry. That's the other thing. You kind of get tongue tied when you're recording. Take that other piece that we had layered in and we're going to put it in the inside. But before we do that, before we lay that in, we need to make sure we put our tassel in. Um, and our tassel, as I said, I got it from Michael's. I really don't have any graduates that I know of. Um, I think they're all graduated. Let me use a brad. You can use an eyelet um, if you want to use an eyelet and put an eyelet in there. I'm not. I mean, you can you can do that. Certainly, you can. Um, oh, I have this one that I had picked out because it was a little bit bigger. You certainly can do whatever you want. I'll put something there to decorate that. And then now we can decorate. We can put this on top, okay? Guys, I know you probably guys get tired of hearing me say about fabric tag, but you know, if I had used any other glue, I would have not been able to remove that piece. Okay, all right, so lay that right, center it in there, like so, move it around, give it a spin a little bit, burnish. Saying, okay, now what are you going to do with those little 
that piece there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So now we have that, right? It's cute, right? All right, but we're not done. Now let's bring this here. Now this has these little pieces. Now in the little perforated areas, you're going to grab these little squares and you're going to um, glue those down. Now you may have the need to want to put some dimensionals on that. Don't do it. I tried doing that and actually it makes it bulky. I like bulky, but sometimes not on some pr projects it's not it's not necessary. All right, let's go ahead and grab these little frames. We're going to glue the frames on before we glue it down onto the mat, okay? Now you can use uh, change the colors on these, you know, like I had cut some in silver glitter. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. However you want to do it, that is entirely, oh, that doesn't go there. See, I was about to do a boo-boo. I see, keep me in track. All right, it goes on these. Nice, please. Reminds me of Brianna when she was little. My mommy made me pancakes. Squeeze. Okay. Enough of that. Alright. All right. I'm just using my fingers to burnish that. Yeah. Um, why not? Um, You don't want to use dimensionals on, on this part because when you go to close your card, it will just be bulky. And, you know, I tried that. It looked cute, but yeah, not, not functionable. It really isn't. Okay. I'll come back in and clean the blue bunnies. Let's grab the other frame. Now this would be cute for now Mother's Day, you know, put some flowers, pop it out, you know, if you have some flower dyes or something, you don't have, it doesn't have to be for, uh, although the shape of it, because it's angled the way it is, I try to make it to um, replicate a cap, and normally the caps are, um, you know, when you put it on your head, they're angled. Um, the reason I say that is because I was looking at my daughter's cat again. And I'm trying to still figure out how to do one that has the base of the cat to cap. It was in my head. I woke up at 2 in the morning and I said, okay, i got to do this because it's in my head and i got to come up with this card um, because I thought this is so easy. And sometimes people don't want to measure. The measuring part is the most complex part when you're creating. Um, measuring, scoring, cutting, all that becomes, you know, sometimes people get um, flustered and that's why it's so easy when you have either a die or an SVG. Um, so you don't have to think about that. So we're going to take away the thinking process for you and just give you an SVG. life easier for those that don't want to, you know, and then you can size it however you want, as long as you group it. Okay, now we can put it on the little layered mat part. I'm going to use my handy dandy. Like I said, you would be tempted to put some dimensionals, you know, mm, great idea, just not functionable really isn't right. We're going to put that in and again there's a little seam so I'll keep, keep that in mind. Put it in place and burnish. Look at that, I still have a little um, 
ticket from Michael's. Which I think I have They had a ticket. It may have been Joanna because I bought some glitter paper from glitter pack from um, Michael's, but I don't think it would have. Oh, no, that is Joanne's coordination. Joanne's. Those are from Joanne's. And I normally buy those when they're 60% off. I do not go in there and try to pay full price. Not on my budget. Okay. Certainly, I was not expecting. Um, for it to take this long. Okay. And then you have some numbers. And again, if you wanted to say the word mom and then put a heart on one of the blocks, you can certainly go into your silhouette or your cricket and you know type in the word mom and a heart and put it there um and, and do it like that maybe i'll do one with a heart for mom for mother's day hmm. thinking i got the wheels on the bus thinking okay maybe that's what i'll do make one that's the shape of a heart Now, while I have these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that and bring these over. You'll need your tweezers because these are thin. And when you're working with these, you have to be careful because they're thin. Okay? Three. Can I just cut a three? I didn't cut a three. How did I not cut a three? I cut... Did I not cut a three? Did I lose a three? I must have lost my number three. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Uh, I was like, what? Okay. Alright, put these aside. And let's glue these down. I'm going to glue these down. You're, you'll want to use your fine tip glue. And then what I do is just place it, don't release it until I have where I want it. And then because it's so tiny, I kind of squeeze it down with my fingers. I don't burnish it too much other than with my fingers by squeezing all the way around. And then you're left with that. You can, again, for this, I would normally put dimensionals on it. For this, I wouldn't because it's going to interfere too much with the mechanism, the closing mechanism. Okay, I'll do this, I'll do this, and then we'll be back. Okay, guys, because I've been on here for like 20 minutes. Numbers are glued, and now we're gluing these down. Now, one thing I want to point out is that you do not want to glue these on top or block in any shape or form the perforated marks that are on this little base here, okay? Very important that you keep it between those score lines, okay? Um, because then you'll be um, interfering with your folds. Right. Place it down. Hold it. Burnish and so forth okay now for the uh, numbers what i did is i used my tim holtz ruler and i used those little grid marks i went in about three eighths of an inch um, with the assistance of the grids on that ruler and it kind of helped me align them a little bit better um, for placement So here's what I'm talking about. So 
if you put it on the horizontal, go in about three eighths of an inch. And right on this little lip from the frame, we're going to put that little grid line on there to about three eighths of an inch on each. And I just kind of line it up the three eighths all the way through. And then I take my numbers. That way they're, and then I just get my glue. It is, because it is um, on glitter, you got to be careful. Right? And then I just kind of drop it, center it in, and drop it right in the center. But I use that as a guide. Okay, that kind of helped keep it. Um, and I'm putting a little bit more glue than usual just because of that glitter. Um, and you can use like the foil paper as well. You don't have glitter. I did order some foil paper. Um, you can use that as well if you want. And this is a cute little card. I mean, let's face it. Kids get cards and they toss them, you know. Um, I used to save mine. I still have a card my mom gave me for my 16th birthday. Um, for the most part, I saved a lot of the ones, you know, throughout the years, of course. Some of the cards that I saved up got lost because when my mom moved, um, my brother went in and threw away a lot of the stuff. But, um, I still have cards from when I was 16 that my mom gave me. But kids nowadays, you know, they, they want what's inside the card. Let's be, let's be honest. They want what's inside the card. So that's why I said a gift card holder is more appropriate for this because I know kids just want what's inside the card and then the card goes to the trash. They don't want to read cards, you know. Okay, that is it that there, and it has a little bit of seepage, but it'll dry clear. Let's go around with my tweezers and pick up a little bit of the seepage. Okay, all right, and then you can come in and grab little embellishments like this. Um, again, you don't want anything that's going to be really bulky for this because. Unfortunately, you know, and you want to stay away from, um, let's see, the crease lines. So maybe one there, maybe a star or two. Not too much, just because I know. And then these are going to fold like an M for mom, like that. See, I may have to shift them around. See, she's doing it. You don't want to block. And this is a form. Make sure I can see that number. I'll come back to that one. All right, so you want to make an M, like a little accordion fold like that. Okay, squeeze that. I'm going to come back to that. All right, now open up your cards. Now, here's how you're going to do this. This lines up just like that, right? But you can't glue this down on that. So what you're going to do on the upper right-hand corner, above the score line, just above the score line, right here, above, here's my little score line. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, just a little bit, okay? Just like a little rectangle amount there. And then on the other left-hand side, this is my left. The ring is my left, okay? I'm gonna put below the score line, again, like a little rectangle area of glue. And then I'm gonna take this, so I got on the right and on the left. Upper right, lower left. And I'm gonna take and align this on top, like so. And kind of move it around, squeeze that. And you can get some little clips if you want. Let it sit for a bit. Um, you wanna make sure it's fully dried. It's very important, but make sure all your areas are perfectly aligned. So if you need a clip, grab a clip, clip that in. And then do the same thing for the other side. Okay. And let it sit for a bit and come back. Okay, so here we have it, right? I put a little cap right there. It's a dimensional cap that came in the little path from Michaels. Now let's go ahead and fold those in. Like that, see that? And then again, take your little two sections there, squeeze it. So, and then voila, it goes just like that. Okay, and then here, what I did is I took one of these that again, they're from the clearance section of Honey Lobby, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the black one because I kinda like that. A little bit of hot glue. And then up here, I can use one of these little messages. I did not, I ended up not putting that one. I do need to put it here. So I'll probably just put that message here. Or maybe not. I like this one. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, we'll do that one. And I, I go ahead and put glue. And again, this ensures it, and I can move it too. And of course, it's on a little angle like that because that's how the caption on it go, right? I can put more in there if I want. If I want to overdo it, I can probably go something like this. Over here. Yeah, well, I like that. It's all up to eye. And these you can, again, you can make little numbers. The, the numbers that came in here, you can make them smaller. And you can do that for this piece as well. Isn't that cute? And then you can open it, and voila, and there's the kick card, which is the most important thing that our graduates need, right? Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, and let me know. Oh, excuse me. Let me know what you think. Till next time. Bye-bye.